We play and call it work. Hey everybody, Matthew and Quirk here from MiniWarGaming.com and welcome to the Showcase Battle Report of Giant Killer Robots! <laughs> that, was, that was actually kind of insane. <laughs> Pretty good. We didn't practice that, I swear. This is a miniature slash board game by Weta Workshops. We did a full introduction and showcase on the prototype version that we received. You can see that in the video description below. Also, it is currently in Kickstarter phase from Weta Workshop, which we'll also put a link in the video description. And on top of that, Weta Workshop has actually put out a 20 minute tutorial on how to play this, which will also be in the description in the box below. But what we're gonna be doing here is a genuine game of giant killer robots between Quirk and myself. So that means that we're not gonna just try to play it in such a way that showcases it. We're gonna try to beat the living snot out of each other, or just reduce. I'll, I'll break his robots. Yeah, you're gonna yeah, we're gonna break each other's robots. <laughs> that is what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna just try to win and have a lot of fun with it. Now, we are still gonna make it so that somebody who's never seen anything about this game before should be able to follow along. We'll explain the rules as we go. But what we're not gonna do is spend 10 minutes explaining a phase and then do that phase and then sp explain another 10 minutes on a phase. Like basically, we'll explain things as we go along and so you can kind of see the flow of how the game works rather than it being a giant tutorial, a giant killer tutorial. It's gonna be a giant killer battle report. But like I said, tutorial already in the description, showcase in the description, and the Kickstarter from Weta Workshop in the description. And we also talk about who Weta Workshop is in the, in the, the showcase video, but just briefly, they are a film production company in New Zealand that makes a lot of the practical effects and costumes and, and weapons and props and things for movies. They've been featured in movies like The Lord of the Rings is the one I remember them from and other things like District 9 and Avatar. They've, they've done a lot of really, really high caliber movies where they've been a key part in making sure those movies look awesome. And so they've pooled their talents to make this awesome game. But I don't want to spend too much time talking about that. That's all in the review, or sorry, the, the showcase, which if you've already watched that, I'm just rambling on here. We want to get to the game. So let's jump into it. We're just going to jump right into the game and start playing Giant Killer Robots! <laughs> we are going to use the very first suggested setup for the board that you see in the rulebook, at least the rulebook they sent us. Now I have to just point out, I mentioned this in the showcasing video, but everything you see here is our prototype of the, of the actual game. So definitely some of the components are going to look different, but this should also definitely give you a really good idea of how the game looks and plays. What we do not have are any pilot cards or the ratings board. So we will not be using those portions of the rules because they were not included in the prototype version, which allows us to play a slightly simpler version but only slightly. So the first thing we have to do is find out who is the Glory Hound. Me. We do that by rolling 2d6, and whoever gets higher gets to be the Glory Hound. I have five, you have eight, so Quirk is the Glory Hound. Yes! I bequeath you with the giant killer robot Glory Hound token. Yay! Now that token can switch hands. Whoever tags the most gets to get that as well. If we tie, then we just switch it back and forth between the different people. Because whoever is the Glory Hound, usually gets to go first with a lot of things, so it does give an advantage there. The Glory Hound gets to choose his faction, so would you like to be blue or orange? I'm sorry, orange. I don't actually know the names of the factions. Orange, take orange. Thunder Happy and King Wolf. So you're King Wolf Incorporated, and I will be Thunder Happy Pharmaceuticals. <laughs> we each take one of these cards, or boards. We take, in this case, our pre-made deck of 25 cards. Normally you would build your 25 card deck with certain restrictions. We shuffle it and put it there. Quirk being the Glory Hound then takes his heavy hitter and puts it on one of the starting tiles. On this map, the starting tile is there and here. So he puts his there, which means I put mine here, facing whatever direction I want. But obviously there is a facing on these robots. This is the front and then these are the sides. And you have to be facing your targets to shoot at them with most weapons. We then take our three support cards. And we just have our support units. The support units do not start on the table. You have to pay energy to deploy them, use cards, or have some sponsors as well that can help you with that. We also take our faction dice and our faction tokens. And I'll take one of these energy tokens as well, stick it at number five, so that we can keep track of our energy rating. Every round you start with five, so we'll always be going up to five, and then we use up energy as we do different actions. 
Each round we go through five phases, and so we do always do this order of play. And so we're going to start off with the deployment phase. Starting with the Glory Hound, you can choose to deploy any of your support units. To deploy a unit, you can either use a card from your hand that is a deploy card and pay two energy, which is what Quirk is going to do. If you do not have one of those cards, then you can pay four energy. So he's going to slide his track down to plus three. And then he can choose one of his three support units, even if one had been destroyed previously, he could still come back on. And he places it anywhere within two inches of his heavy hitter. It's still going to be allowed to move this turn as well. So you're taking your recon. I will take the recon. The scanner. Two spots away. Right here. It's getting ready. I will also use the deploy support unit card from my hand. Forgot to mention that we drew six cards at the beginning. So my energy goes down to three. I'm going to deploy my combat drone or a Ooh. combat support unit. And he's going to go right here behind this building. Juicy. Next, we have the movement phase. This one goes back and forth. It always starts with the Glory Hound, and then it goes clockwise around from him. So we'll have two players, obviously, it's back and forth. You start with your heavy hitter, and you move that. And then you can move your combat drones, and then your repair drones, and then your, your recon drones. The heavy hitter has to pay energy for every space of movement he makes. He can turn at any point for free. So I'm going to move one, two, and three three, which will spend my three remaining energy. So you're down to zero energy. So if he wants to spend any more energy, he's going to have to take damage. At any point that you go below zero energy, you take damage equal to how much energy you're expending. And you just do that by any other means. Anytime you take damage, you take a card off the top of your draw deck, or you can take a card out of your hand. It is your choice. And as soon as you run out of your 25 cards, your heavy hitter dies. I will spend, yeah, let's say two energy. One, two to move him up. Now he can, you can actually move through your own faction at any point, but you can't move through the enemy faction, but the heavy hitter can end on an enemy support unit and force him to move one hex wherever the controlling player wants to go. So that was two energy, so I go down to one energy. Next up we have combat drones, but you don't have any combat drones, nope. so it is my turn, so I can move it. Now each of these guys has a movement stat, so it's two for combat and repair and four for recon. On top of that, recon can ignore anything in, in between. It just flies wherever it wants to go, four spaces. I'm gonna use move my combat drone to go one, two, right to there. Next is repair drones, nobody has them. And lastly is recon drones, you have one and I don't. I'm gonna leave my recon drone where it is. Awesome. Next, we have the combat phase. We're not gonna be doing too much combat right now. But essentially what we do is we take the cards from our hand that we want to use to fire, so primary and, and secondary. You can only do one primary attack and up to two secondary attacks, but you can't do the same secondary attack twice. Essentially you can never use the same card twice from your hand, a duplicate card. Also, you can attack with your support units as well. Are you going to place any cards? No, I'm not. I'm not going to place any either. <laughs> I was tempted to, but we're both thinking, like, we're both low in energy. So <laughs> you're going to find that's going to happen. Usually somebody's going to spend their energy to reposition or deploy support units, or they'll use their energy to fire. Now you can do both, of course, but early this early in the game, neither of us want to take that extra damage. I don't want to get No, not yet. Next, we place tags. Starting with the Glory Hound, you can basically place a tag on a building that you're adjacent to. Each unit, each basically giant killer robot, even the support units are called giant killer robots, can place one tag on one building. So you're going to choose to put it on that one. And the facing does matter, has to be the one that he's facing. And then he could put it on this one or that one. And then you get to draw a number of sponsor cards equal to the number of buildings that you tagged, not the number of tags that you put on. So if he had put another tag right here, then he'd only draw one card, but it's two buildings, so he gets to draw two cards. And these cards, like I said, are pretty much all nasty. So you want them. I'm going to follow suit and put one right here and one up here so I can draw two cards. Now, the moment you place a fourth sponsorship hollow thing on a building, and remember, it's always the glory hand that gets to go first, you then destroy that building and you permanently have that building. And if you get four demolished buildings, then you win the game. So I get to draw two cards as well. We'll show these cards as we use them and we will be using them. Lastly, we have the reset phase. This is very simple, you go back up to 5 energy, and you redraw back up to 6 faction cards. Your sponsorship cards you can have up to 5 in your hand, but faction cards you can only have up to, or you can also have up to 6. So they don't stack together, they don't count as towards your hand limit. So I've got 5 cards right now, because I used 1, so I get to draw 1 card back up to 6. 
During the reset phase as well, we determine who the new glory hound is. Whoever places the most boards, the most tags, not the number of buildings, but actually the number of tags, is a new glory hound. If it's tied, then it passes to the next player clockwise who's part of that tie. In the case of a two player, it'll always pass to the person who's not currently the glory hound. So, gimme. Mm. I am the glory hound! Oh. And then we just says over and over and over and over and over again until somebody's the winner. Starting with the deploy phase, I will pay two energy and deploy again. So I'll be down to three energy. This time I will place my recon drone right there within two, two hexes of my heavy hitter. You gonna deploy? Yeah, now I don't have a deployment card in my hand, so I have to pay four energy right Ooh, now. So you're down to one energy already. Four energy, four uh, energy, there we no. go. I was that means I don't have to I'm worry. <laughs> I know. That means this turn I don't have to worry as much about attacks from Quirk. Now, that doesn't mean he won't, because you can still burn his reactor to do them. I gotta place this within two. What is with it? Which one are you choosing? I'm gonna take the, uh, the combat one. Let's go... Oh. Right here. Da -da 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 -da. And to the movement phase, I start with my heavy hitter, because I am the glory hound. Two energy to move to here. Getting aggressive. Ooh. Does bring me to one energy, though, so not a lot left for weapons. You gonna move your heavy hitter? I will <laughs> not. <laughs> not. Okay. Will not. Yeah, you're still energy. adjacent, so you can tag another building. Yes. So that's a big part. Is you don't want to not be tagging buildings. I'll move my combat drone next. Just one hex. So you have your combat drone. Does he want to move? Yes. I'm going to move one hex. Stay away. Staying away from yours. Yes. Good idea. Yeah. Mine. Mine has a two to three range. Mine has a one to two. Which means I can't fire one hex away. We gotta remember that. Nobody has any repair bots, so it's just the recon now. I'm gonna move this recon one over to here. Two spaces. Would you like to move your recon yes. drone? One, two. Looking at the combat phase, either of these, both of my combat drones are not in range to fire. We both choose the weapons that we want to fire from our hand. And we put them down. Now that was your drone, right? Yes. So you can actually show that one. I don't want it. It shows that you show it. <laughs> yeah, no, you, you show the one that you're doing and you put the ones face down. So we don't know. You just know the number of cards. And so we've there's been interesting questions like order of operations. How many cards do I put down before he puts his cards down? So we just have it like Glory Hound goes first. So they would reveal how many cards they're putting and then the opponent. Are you ready? Final answer? You locked in? You happy with what you got? Yes. Next, we reveal the cards. I've got a Thunderstrike missile attack. Ooh. And I have a paint gun attack. And you've got a dire, dire laser. laser. And your sentinel. Now, you'll notice at the top left, there's a weapon speed. The higher weapon speed goes first. And so in this case, he has 625. So I'm going to do it just for the viewer to see. And then we have 575. And then we've got 125 and then 75. So we resolve these weapons in this order. Do you have something you want to do? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to play targeting assist on my weapon which means I don't have to roll the hit. Okay, so this is something Quirk could have waited to play until he goes to fire this. It's important because I might be hacking that weapon and not let it fire anyways. So there's certain ones that say play with any declared weapon card and there's others that say play when all the weapons are revealed. For example, play after weapons are declared. Reporting live for each successful hit with a primary and or secondary weapon, draw a bonus sponsor card. So this one I had to play before we even start firing, but Quirk didn't have to play that, because there are some sponsor cards that I could hack that and not let it work, and you would have wasted your sponsor card. And so that's just important to, to realize order of operations there. So I got this one in play. I don't have any cards to stop this one, and so we move on and we fire your dire laser. Sorry, before we do that, we got to pay the energy cost of all of our weapons. And so it's three energy, and I've got one energy and three energy, but I've got a sponsor card, sponsored strike. So my sponsors are going to pay the energy of this one, and it won't cost me anything. So my total energy cost is just one, so I go to zero. And Quirks, your total energy cost is three. So I go one, two, three. So you go to negative two. I am so immediately have to pay two cards of damage. So you're burning your reactor already, eh? Yep. I'm gonna actually get rid of these two. Yeah. So he could choose two cards from his hand, or he could choose cards from the top. But he can't look at that card from the top until he's declared that he's going to be throwing it away. Once he's thrown it away, then he can look at it. Let's proceed with the attacks. So we look at the weapon. We've already looked at the energy. It has one to four range and it does eight damage and it's an energy weapon. That's important because you have reactionary cards as well and they'll say, you know, they react to energy, ballistic, or missile. So you have one to four range. What is your target going to be? It's the... 
your my tag. Yeah. Now you can see there's no nothing in between, so we don't have to worry about any modifiers from cover. He has to be able to see buildings can block line of sight, and if they're beside him and it would cover one of the ways, then it also provide cover. But in this case, it's straight on. And so to hit a heavy hitter, it's a five plus with two dice. To hit a support unit, they're a little harder. It's seven plus. But you've got a targeting assist, so you automatically hit. It does eight damage. So I take my eight dice and I have to basically make my armor saves. Now on a heavy hitter, it's a five plus, and on a support unit, it's a six plus. So, oh, I made four of them. Nice. I take four damage. I like the cards in my hand, so I'm gonna go one. I'm gonna look at what it is. Two, okay, good so far. Three. All right, I'm very happy about that one. And four. Okay, good. All right. There's a few important cards in here that I don't want to lose. Uh, like what? I don't know. Like, like what? Like orbital strikes, perhaps? <laughs> we then move on to my pink gun. Now, my pink gun doesn't do a lot of damage, but it has a special rule that if I do at least two damage with it, which is the maximum amount of damage it can do, then I can tag an available building uh, for free, but I don't get a sponsor card for tagging that building. So really I'm looking for an easy target that I can hurt, but the problem is I can hit him on a five plus, but then he'll have a five up armor. Or I can hit him on an eight plus, because it's normally seven plus, but there's a building blocking one of the shortest paths. So you look at all the shortest paths, and if there's a building that he's adjacent to, then you get a plus one. So he's gonna be a harder to hit target, but easier to hurt, and he's gonna be easier to hit, but harder to hurt. So I'm gonna target your tag, all right, your heavy hitter. Do you have a reaction to it? I do have a reaction. I have ballistic defense, so with the weapon type being ballistic, I can play this card and it bumps my armor save from a five up to a three up. Okay, so not likely gonna do much damage. First I have to hit you on a five plus. Got a hit. Does two damage and you got a three plus save. And they save them both, so your card saved one of those. Now thankfully I do have a reporting live, so I got a reporter talking about all the awesome stuff I'm doing and because I got a hit with this, I get to draw a sponsor card. Yoink. Nice. Next up we have your Sentinel. He's got a one to two weapon range with three damage. Now, unlike the heavy hitters, these have a 360 degree view, so they can fire in any direction. What is his target gonna be? Well, with only being one to two, the only target I can take is your heavy hitter, so I will shoot at him. So you go through a building, because one of the paths is through that, so that five up becomes a six up. Show me a six. Oh, just barely. You're doing three damage. Damn, five up. Oh, I took two more damage already. Not comfortable with this much damage early in the game. Okay, that's too bad. Okay, I can live with that. And lastly, can I get some retribution, please? I got my Thunderstrike missiles, and I have a sponsored strike on it so that I didn't have to pay the energy for it. It's three to six range. Thankfully, I have your heavy hitter at the three range, and it does seven damage, and it doesn't technically need line of sight, and it's indirect as long as somebody else can spot, but in this case, it doesn't matter. So it's right there, you're three away. If you were closer, I wouldn't be able to fire this. Looking at a five to hit. Okay, oh, thank you. it's okay, it's okay. I've got a card to help oh. me with that. I've got, that was just a fake shot. Fake shot. Oh yeah. It's a cost an energy though. So I put this fake shot there and it cost me one energy, which puts me in a negative and hurts me. Come on. Got it. No. So that does seven damage and you got a five up armor save. <laughs> he made three of them, so four damage. You gotta discard four cards. So I and I get to draw another sponsor card for having hit with one of my primary secondary weapons. I would go one, two, uh, three, uh, <laughs> four. Uh, they all hurt. They all hurt. All those hurt. Some hurt more than others, but they all, all hurt. All those were just bad cards to lose. And I get to draw a sponsor card for doing that hit. Next up, we place our tags. I will go first. Well, this one's obvious, so I'll place a tag there. I'll have the recon guy place a tag here. And then my heavy hitter will place a tag on the forward building. That gives me three total buildings tagged, so three new sponsor cards. And Quirk, what are you gonna do? I will put one here, one here, because I got my recon drone back there, and then one there. So oh, again, going for the sponsor card rather than buildings. demolishing the building. That also makes sure you become the glory hound because we tied for number of tags placed. Then we reset back to five energy and draw back up to six cards. So you are the glory hound now. Yes. Deployment. Because you're the glory hand, you go first. And I am definitely going to use my deploy support unit. So two energy, and you're going to put your repair monkey down. Your grease monkey. My grease monkey. That's Within two hand. of your heavy hitter. Hmm. 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 Put him right here. Ooh, getting a 
aggressive. I'm going to use a sponsor card to get a free deploy that doesn't cost any energy. And I will re put it a repair drone as well. Right. Hmm. Huh. You know, I'm going to put them right here. Any sponsorship cards you want to play? Uh, I want to play Fickle Consumer Base. Select a random sponsor card from... Steal a random sponsor card from your opponent. All right, you big jerk. Which one was it? Because I'll know which one's not. Range there. boost. Oh, okay. That's the least interesting. Gives you plus one range to one of your weapons. Okay. Oh yeah? Well, I'm going to hack and force a reboot. Do you have a counter hack? No. Good. So this lets me look at your faction hand, and I can discard any number of them. And then you can draw new cards to replace those. Yeah, well, I'm also going to hack too. Well, just let me do my hack first, man. Fine. Give me your hand. No, because I got really good cards. I know, right? Okay. Oh, these are all good. Definitely the dire lasers are gone. Uh, Quick rotation? Yeah, you can keep that one. I don't care about you not getting that one. Lone wolf missiles. And that just can target something outside of your line of sight and does two damage. You can keep those. I don't want you to draw too many good cards. So you get to draw two new cards. Thank you. Instead. You don't have to tell me what they are, obviously. <laughs> Is it an orbital strike? It's an orbital strike. I don't care showing you at this point. Thanks. <laughs> oh, it's another one. But you still had to discard one of them, so. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what are your sponsors going to do to me? Uh, I'm actually kind of worried you have a counter hack, but... Yeah, you should be worried. Ha! What are you hacking? System overload. I don't have a counter hack. Okay, Roll a die. One, two, three. I take that much damage on a four plus. Nothing happens. All right, go ahead and roll it. Yay! Oh. Nothing happens. Moving phase, you're the glory hand, so does your heavy hitter want to move? I'm actually going to play Get In The Shot. Which lets him move one for free? Yes. That's so another sponsor card. Nothing. You can see how important these sponsor cards are. Bending energy. Are you going to move at all after that? Nope. Well, I will spend an energy and move back oh, one. Shoot. So go down to four energy. And look at that, you're facing this way, so you can't actually even see him. Now you could use quick indirect rotation. fire. Oh, quick rotation. I let you keep that card, too. <laughs> you play any time? Yeah, play any time. And when I play that, I get to draw a card. You get to draw a card? Draw Or discard a card and draw a new card. Oh, okay, so you could discard a card and draw. Do you have to discard? Does it say may or must? Uh, discard a faction card from your hand and draw a new one. Oh, okay, so you do have to. I'm going to discard the one of the lone wolf missiles. missiles. <laughs> Combat drones next. Your support unit. You go first. We've got everything on the table now, so we'll both be taking turns with these. Well, I'm going to move this one one two. Well, hello. Well, hi. Hi. Well, you. I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to move my combat drone to here. Repair next. Where would you like to move your repair guy? I almost don't want to move him and try and do a repair, but at the same time, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to move up here so I can at least tag another building. Yeah, and you can actually steal this tag as well. My repair guy is happy where he is. Then your recon. My recon is going to move one space to here. Well, this recon drone is going to move one space here. Obviously, we're working on tagging these buildings. Combat phase. Glory Hound, you get to place all your cards first. Oh. Oh. And then drones that want to attack. I think you can attack with two of them, not your recon. I have my repair guy handy. Two weapons. So now we reveal. We've got a paint gun and my Thunderstrike missiles. And you got your Dire Laser and Lone Wolf. Dire laser is too fast. I don't like it. Oh, that gets to go first to the grease monkey. And then there's our order. I am going to play hacked weapon systems. You can only resolve one primary or secondary weapon card this round, but you still have to pay the energy for all of them. So we're both playing. Okay, unless you, I'll let you play your cards before we talk about energy. Do you have any cards to play? Uh, Sponsor cards? No, I do not. So we're both paying four energy, which brings me down to zero, and I think it brings you down to negative one, right? It does bring me down to negative one. So you one. take a damage. And I'm going to... What are you firing at me? I got ballistics yeah. and energy and missile. Let's take this one. Can I give it that? Yeah. Yeah. Let's start with your dire laser. Yep. So one to four range, eight damage. What's the target? You could target the heavy hitter or the repair bot. Uh, let's target the heavy hitter. I was going to say eight damage on a repair bot seems a little excessive. Now I do have cover, so it'll be a six to hit. Got it. What and you doing? With that, I'm going to play Damage Spike, which bumps that up to nine damage. Oh! I don't even have nine dice. I have to put a black die in there. Five up save. Oh! Oh! That is eight damage. 
So I discarded a card or two from here and then the other six from there, but I've got major damage on me. I think I was a little too aggressive. I forgot. I, your guy is just a heavy hitter at close range, whereas mine's a heavy hitter at longer range, so I think I'm playing this wrong. Or you'd just be more aggressive than last game. I'm being a lot more aggressive than last game. <laughs> Crease Monkey is next. Does he want to attack? Yes. He's got a one rep in range. Tits on a five. Got and it. I got a five up save. Saved. I got my paint gun next. Let's actually go for your Grease Monkey. Get him on a seven. Got him. So that's two damage and you got a six up save. And if you don't make either of these, I get to tag for three. Thank you. Grease Monkey has only two hit points, so he's actually destroyed. And I get to tag for free, but it doesn't give me a sponsor card. Which means I'm going to actually tag this one right here. Then you got your Lone Wolf Missile System, three to six range, two damage. What's your target? Let's go for... It can be either of these. Yeah. Or could be him as well. because Oh wait, no, you don't have a spotter for him, so he's out of your... He's out of your yeah, weapon he's arc. Yeah, he's got to be in the arc if he can see him, but if somebody else spots, this one can, can ignore line of sight. So in this case, he can spot, and I don't get any cover as well. And I think that's probably... Or wrong. him. Same thing, you can spot him. I want to kill your, your repair bot now, because you killed mine, and I don't want you tagging more stuff than me. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to shoot your... Yeah. At the repair bot, eh? Yep. Okay. You need a seven to hit, then. Bail. Thank you! Oh. Big shot, I don't care what it costs me an energy. Oh, it costs you a damage, take a damage! Yeah, go ahead. Ooh. Does that hurt? No, actually, it's fine. Seven to hit! Fail, 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 fail. Yes! Ah! Woohoo! Because <laughs> it's now it's my repair bot's turn, and he's going to try to repair <laughs> instead of attack. And he repairs on a four plus if I'm a, he's adjacent to my guy, which means I get to choose one of these cards and bring him back. Dang it! Well, that was worth a try. Then you've got your combat drone. What's this target going to be? Uh, let's again go for your your repair bot. Seven's to hit. Oh, there we go. It's three damage. I got to roll two sixes. One. You got him. Dang it! I was going to tag four times. Last, I have my thunder strike missiles. Missile defense. Oh, you big jerk! No, hold on. You, you got to wait till to see who I actually target, because okay. I could target your uh, repair drone instead. And hit him for seven. Drone? You mean my recon drone? Yeah, your recon drone. I could can hit him. Can you see him? Sure. Oh, you can sure. see him. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. So just hold on to that card. Okay. Okay, hold on to it, because my target is going to be this guy. Yeah. Wait, no. Now that I know you have that card, I kind of want to kill your repair drone. Don't shoot the repair your, drone. Your recon drone, because then you'll get only two tags done, and you won't actually build That's a demolition. huge waste of seven damage. No, nope, it's not a huge waste, Quirk. It's not a huge Giant waste. No, nope, no, it's not, because I'm, I'm on the... I, you know, I'm going to fire out your repair or your recon droid. I hope you drone. Seven's to hit! Woohoo! Ah. Yeah, you can roll it or you can just remove it. You only got one hit point. You gotta roll seven sixes. Yeah, no. Okay. Yes, I know that would have been much better off hitting him in terms of damage, but uh, I have a plan. It's tagging time. You get to go first with your two guys. Ooh. <laughs> one on this building. I know, but you stopped me from having four guys at least. And I will place one on this building too. I wanted to place one on that building, but I was gonna whine about it. I will place one on this building and one on this building. So I'll get three cards. And I also become the new Glory Hound as I place more tags. So thank you. And then we reset. We're in the deploy phase right now. First off, I'm going to use a sponsor card. Destroy sponsor relationship. I roll a die. On a one, two, or three, you lose one sponsor card. On a four, five, you lose two. And on a six, you lose three. Ready, Quirk? Mm -hmm. And you get to choose which ones you lose. Oh, good. So you lose two. I know how powerful those are, so I don't care what you're taking away. I'm glad you don't have them. Rain boost and triple threat. Oh, triple threat! Is that the one where you get to fire three times? No, that's the one where you get to roll three dice and pick the two highest. Oh. So it gives you a better chance of getting those yeah. cards. You got a card too? I'm going to play System Reboot. It lets me discard any number of cards from my hand and then and draw then new ones. draw new ones, yeah. So, so how many would you like to throw away? Three. So I'm going to tell And it doesn't destroy them, it just puts no, them in a discard. Puts discard. So I'm getting rid of two point defense chain guns and a jump jet. To draw three more cards. I'm also going to infect your tacos. No! Bad taco! Ah. The opponent's pilot suffers food poisoning under suspicious circumstances. All of their heavy hitter attacks, specifically, have an increased target number of plus two for this combat phase. Yeah, it says play during the deploy phase, so you now know before you start playing weapons 
that here you can have this card just to remind you. Actually, I'll put it right here with our combat stuff. Okay. You'll be hitting heavy hitters on sevens and support units on nines. I am not going to deploy. Would oh. you like to deploy? Yes. Yeah, you better. You've I only got one deploy guy. card though. Oh, you gotta pay four energy, eh? So I'm paying four energy. Oh. Repair bot right there. Nice. I'm gonna take a big chance in the my movement phase. I'm gonna move to his spot. That means I can't move any further. And you can move him one space. I can steal this away from you, just to remember. Wanna move your heavy hitter? Nope. Okay. My combat drone is not happy about being exposed, but he'll move there. Would you like to move your combat drone? Nope. Then your repair drone is next. Not moving him either. So then it's the recon drone who will move here. <sighs> Combat phase. Going all out here. This is. I'm going for broke. Going for broke. So placing four cards, and you're placing your two bots and a card. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. Paint gun, point defense missiles, orbital strike, Ooh. and a thunder strike missile. It'll be in this order. Actually got it the right order just by accident. Orbital strike. Oh, they hit automatically yeah. and they do four damage. So your grease monkey goes first, and then, then these guys, and then him, and then your orbital strike, and then my thunder strike missiles. So you have to pay two. hold on. Well not him. So you have two energy? Four. No, okay, these guys are free. Four energy. Two. And I gotta pay two energy, and I gotta pay one, two, three, four, five, six, seven energy. This puts me to the negative three. This will put me in. So I'm gonna throw away three more cards. Okay. Oh, I'm so low on health. Puts me at negative one. I'm just gonna take a talk card. I don't have any sponsorship cards to play. Do you? Nope. You, still, you have, still have bad taco. So your or no, actually, it doesn't that won't affect you because nope. orbital strike hits automatically, and these are not your heavy hitters. So start with the grease monkey. I'm going to tr gotta try and repair myself. Four plus. Yes. So oh, you can, you, that's the best option. Why? Because that means I get to pick, take something and put it in my hand, not on top of my. Where does it say that? Roll one die on a four plus, choose any card from your damage deck and place on the top of your draw deck. Isn't there a thing for, oh no, that's probably something else. Yeah, I don't know what you're thinking oh, about. Oh, I was thinking of something else, okay. No, you just get to go through your damage deck and put it on the top of your draw deck. That's my paint gun's turn. <laughs> I'm gonna target your repair bot. Leave him alone. No! <laughs> Got a plan, all right. So let me stick to my plan. Hitting him on a seven. Yes! Eight. Eight? Shortest path goes through a building. But it's indirect. Oh, uh, who's spotting me? Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's indirect either way, as long as I can see you. Sixes to save. You got two hull points. Yes! Oh, I got him. I got him, and it's a paint gun. But you know what? I'm actually not, not going to choose to use the paint thing because I want to get the extra sponsorship cards. Next point, defense mis missile systems. I have. I can choose between one to three targets in range, which is two to three. And uh, I can see your two targets, and I attack them each once for one damage. Oh wait, it's two to three, so I can't attack him, so I can only attack him. Oh, it's totally worth the damage taken. It was more like a, a backup if you had rolled a six. So you do have a building in the way. Oh wait, no, this one is also indirect. Yeah, this one's indirect as well, so hitting you on five. I got you. Oh, one damage though, five plus, you're fine. But we've got our orbital, orbital strike, which automatically hits. No reactionary cards can be played, and does four damage. Put it on your combat bot. No! Six up save. Don't roll two sixes. Don't roll two sixes. Yes! I got them. Sorry, man. You're gonna have to straight up kill me. You're not tagging buildings. So you lost your sentinel, but you get an orbital strike. And you were on the table. Who do you want to take four damage? Yeah, because I'm almost dead. I've only got seven left. Seven. Yeah. One, two, oh. three, four. Oh wait, not this one. This one. That's. I've got six left because those ones are actually destroyed. I got six left. Oh! Five plus three times. Because armor, armor saves can be taken against these, right? Yep. All right, so I take one damage. Okay, I'm going to throw away this card. And lastly, Thunderstrike Missile is obviously targeting your heavy hitter. You got some re defense. Oh, you jerk. Oh, well, it's not like I'm trying to kill you. I'm just trying to tag everything. So I am going to need a five to hit. Yes. Seven damage with a three up save here. Looking for ones and twos. Two damage really well so that just saved one extra so two damage you still got lots you got lots you're not dying from damage. this one no I know what it was <laughs> and this one oh, okay. tagging time I'm the glory hand I go first I am ripping off your billboard and sticking my own up 
And then I'm demolishing both of these buildings because they'll both be up to four. And then you get to put a one right there. So I own this one and I own this one. Replenish energy. Oh wait, sponsorship cards. I get to draw three cards. You get to draw one. So one, two, three. And I get to stay the glory hound because I did more. During the deployment phase, I will pay two energy to deploy. I can't afford to take damage. I can deploy a repair bot. I want to put it next to him and repair him, but as you can probably tell by everything, don't really have that option right now. I'm also going to try to hack your power plant. So I roll a die, one to three, you lose that much energy. On a four plus, you don't lose anything. Okay. Do you have counter hack nope. that you want to use? Nope. Ah! Woo! You want to deploy? Nope. You're not going to, oh, you're just going for the kill. <laughs> just going for the kill. <laughs> I've got five left. On to the movement phase. <laughs> so three energy. And a zero. What about you, man? Burn it. Uh, let's go. Burn it. Burn it. Mm. You still have all five energy. I'm, so, I'm terrified. <laughs> and all my cards are good against your support units. To, I just go here. You can see from, from there, yeah. Yeah, but you'll get cover. Well, I'm going to get cover unless you move all the way up to here. Oh, even there, because it's a short path. You'd have to get here, here. Yeah, I see fine. I'll spend one. That's four energy just to be able to do that. One energy, so you're down to four. Okay, so my combat drone will move up to here. My repair drone is happy where he is, because he can actually repair. And then my Rickon drone is going to go... i got to think about the next turn. So one, two, three, four. That's the best I can do. Time for the attack phase, the combat phase. I am not playing any cards. Oh, wait, actually, that's not true. I'm going to play my three drones. So I got my three drones. Go ahead, flip your cards. I know you're just going to... It's all out war at this point. Orbital strike! No! Four automatic damage. Dire laser. And so you've got six energy in total. So you're, do you have anything to help you with that? Nope, I'm at minus two. So, it'll be scoot and shoot. I forgot this guy can move after he shoots. That might have actually allowed me to win the game this turn. If I had remembered that. So you're at minus two, so you lose two. So you take two damage. You're fine. You still have plenty of damage left. Well, not plenty, but more than five. So Let's just put it that way. One... Although we are going to lose one from that orbital strike. Start with my scooting shooter. Obviously targeting your uh, heavy hitter. Hit you on a five. Hit you. It's two damage. Five up save. Two damage. So two more cards. Oh, are you? Oh, you are getting low. Hmm. Oh. But now eight damage from the dire laser. So I have cover. Something you're on a six. You're not a six. You've already gotten rid of that bad taco out of the automatic recycling part of your thing. Oh no, I'm so dead! So it's eight damage, and I've got five left. So I need to make four or five pluses to not die right now. Oh, my heavy hitter goes down! Yes, it worked! <laughs> it just worked. Ju <laughs> ju boom! And he collapses into a heap, and the support units scatter off. And the victory goes to, what's the name of your corporation? Uh, King, King Wolf. King Wolf Incorporated. Incorporated. <laughs> Woo! Giant, Giant Killer Robots! Da -da 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 -da. Woo! That was awesome. That was great. That was great. I genuinely had a lot of fun right there, <laughs> even though I lost. It was a close game. I was almost able to tag enough buildings to win the game, but then I just, you just die a laser. Yeah, I think I learned my lesson that the, the blue guy, the uh, pharmaceutical company, likes range. It seems that my heavy hitting weapon is a long range we mm. weapon and your heavy hitting weapon is a closer range yep. weapon, whereas your indirect are lighter and my direct are lighter. My direct's all about like, it's almost like area control, like I'm trying to keep people away. So maybe I shouldn't have been so aggressive. But at the same time, it allowed me to tag a lot of buildings. Yeah. So it's really hard to say. There's a lot, obviously there's a lot more to kind of learn to tactically from this game than what we did. Remembering little things like, oh yeah, I can move my recon guy. Not that that would have mattered, he would have destroyed me anyways. But there is a lot of nuances there. And I do look forward to seeing the other factions. There's two other factions already in the Kickstarter and maybe they'll be doing ex uh, expansions later on. I think it's Diamondback and Hammer Mill. Something like that. Industries? Yeah. yeah, something like that. They're green and yellow are the other two colors that are currently out. This, I think this game would play awesome as a four-player game. Just, it would be mayhem. <laughs> oh, it would be mayhem. The, the, the sponsor cards are just disgustingly oh. awesome. And I like that, because you, you get them and you get to do them to your opponent, they get to do them to you. 
Um, there's very little just stopping your opponent from doing stuff. It's more about just hitting them even harder back. So really enjoyed that game. I hope that you enjoyed this preview battle report or the showcase battle report of Giant Killer Robots by Weta Workshops. I know you want to dance every time you say it, right? I'm, I'm, and, and start screaming. I'm a robot. Oh, you're a robot. Rock and sock and robot. Make sure you check out the Kickstarter while it's still around. At the time of the filming of this video, there's still a few weeks left, so we're, we're hopefully going to get this out shortly after we filmed it, and you'll have plenty of time to save up the money and grab something from the Kickstarter. And also, don't forget to check out the Showcase video and also Weta Workshop's How to Play video if you want to learn more about the game. All in the links in the description below. So, and a big shout out to Weta Workshop. Thank you so much for sending us this game and uh, letting us try it out because it was a lot of fun. We look forward to seeing how well it does in the future and any future expansions. Thanks so much for watching. Happy Wargaming.